Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, in today's video we're gonna talk about Lumix cameras for photography. In particular, this camera right here and why I absolutely love it for stills photography. Even though it's not actually designed for that and it's not targeted towards us photographers. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's start out with a sort of general question that I get a lot. Lumex for photography. Um, a lot of people hit me up and sort of say, look, you use Lumex cameras, you use Micro Four Thirds cameras for photography. I thought that was more sort of for video work and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess so. I guess Lumex, Panasonic, they've really got that sort of uh, videographer, video thing sort of happening. GH5, before that the GH4. GH5 Mark II, GH6, and now they've got the S5 series. They do lean quite heavily towards the video side of things. However, you know, I'm a photographer and I use Lumix cameras for photography. This is the GH5 Mark II. I was using this camera on a job the other day for stills. And, you know, at the end of the job, I looked at the files and I thought to myself, no, they look absolutely fantastic. And the overall user experience of using this particular um, GH5 Mark II. There's something about the handling of the GH5 and the way it sits and all that sort of thing that just makes the user experience of photography absolutely fantastic, right? So let's get into it and let's take uh, things a little bit deeper. This video is really targeted towards the GH5 Mark II for stills. Um, Panasonic released the Panasonic G9 a few years ago and that was really targeted towards stills photographers. Um, however, the GH5 and now the GH5 Mark II and the GH6 are all sort of, I guess, video heavy, you know, centric cameras. However, they are great photo cameras as well. And, you know, this camera here, the GH5 Mark II, usually just sits on my tripod in the studio and it is usually my um, YouTube camera that I use to make all these YouTube videos. Um, however, every now and again, I take it off the tripod and I take it out on the road, I take it out in the field, I take it out for personal work, all that sort of stuff. And every time I use it for stills, I'm absolutely blown away, not only because of the image results, but also the overall handling of it. And that's the first thing I wanna talk about. Okay, so I briefly mentioned the handling before. However, there is something just great about the GH5 Mark II and the way it sits in the hand, the way it molds around my hand, the way also how everything is where it needs to be, all the dials and all the buttons are laid out absolutely fantastically. White button, ISO, exposure compensation. On the uh, GH5 Mark II, you've also got your color profile, choose a button, I guess you could say, right here as well. So if you wanna change color profiles and things like that, you just hit that button and they just pop up and you can sweep through them. The user experience of the GH5 Mark II is even a little bit better than the G9. Sorry, G9 users out there, I love that camera. This one here just sits and handles just that little bit better than the G9. And while we're talking about handling and the buttons and stuff like that, the other thing I wanna point out about this particular camera and the original G9, uh, GH5, I should say, and cameras like the G85, the G7, these cameras have two dedicated dials up here, right? And it's so good to have everything where it needs to be. So if you wanna switch modes from you know manual shooting for stills straight into video, you have one click and you're right there. The other feature is what I like about this particular camera here that the G9 doesn't have. It's got this mode button over here for the style of shooting you wanna do, you know, burst mode, 5K resolution mode, time lapse, uh, the timer mode. It's all here in this clicky dial, which makes choosing things really, really simple on the fly. You don't have to go menu diving uh, like the GX9 or on the G9 itself, this button here is actually underneath the mode dial and it's a little bit fiddly, right? So I guess that's another big feature that I like about the GH5 series. Um, is these two dedicated buttons here that just makes the workflow just absolutely seamless. Two big reasons straight away why I love the GH5 and its workflow for me. Let's just talk about the results that this camera gets. The images that come out of this camera, stills uh, for still photography, absolutely mind-blowing. The raw files are fantastic, pretty much straight out of camera. Uh, they're very ed editable. Um, and you know, put them in a Lightroom, and there's a lot of room to manipulate them, there's a good amount of dynamic range and all that sort of thing, absolutely fantastic. But the other thing is the uh, JPEGs. 
So in the GH5 Mark II, they've got two new sort of color profiles, I guess you call them, is the uh, L Classic Neo, which is like a sort of old school vibe color profile, and it creates awesome JPEGs with a little bit of tweaking in camera. You can pretty much share them straight away out of the camera. And then they've got another one, the L Monochrome S, which is also another fantastic black and white uh, JPEG out of camera. And you know, if you're invested in the Micro Four Thirds system and Panasonic, you'll know that you know most of their less, uh, lenses are absolutely fantastic. Uh, in particular, on the GH5 Mark II, I'm finding the Panasonic uh, Leica Lumix uh, collaboration, the 12 to 60 f 2.8 to f 4, really suits this camera down to the ground. It's absolutely fantastic. The results, the versatility you get with this camera paired up with this lens for stills photography is mind blowing. I absolutely love it. And then, you know, all the other prime lenses, the 42.5 f 1.2, I use that a lot on this camera. Awesome results. Um, even the 25mm f 1.7 is great on this camera. But for me, and you know, for my usage as an EDC, you know, sort of walk and talk sort of camera, this camera paired up with this lens, the 12 to 60 f 2.8 to f 4, is fantastic. You know, this camera is packed full of features, right? I can only imagine what the GH6 must be like to use, right? Image stabilization, 6.5 stops of image stabilization on this camera. That really helps my stills photography out a lot, especially in low light when conditions get a bit lower and I want to slow down the shutter speed. Two card slots, backing up, redundancy, all that sort of thing. Weather sealing. So I guess in this video, I'm really harping on about, you know, the GH5 Mark II as a stills camera, but I just really think it is a very, very overlooked camera for stills photography. The ability to shoot stills with Panasonic Lumix cameras is definitely there. I've been doing it for nearly over five years now. Started out with the G7 and now I'm using the G9 a lot, as you know, if you follow this channel for all my stills work. But I tell you what, when I break this bad boy out a lot for uh, stills and everything, I'm absolutely blown away every single time. So there you go. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you use the GH5 Mark II for stills photography? Um, are you thinking about getting one? What Panasonic Lumix camera do you use for stills photography? I'll be interested to know. Big thumbs up for the video. If you like this sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.